Hello. This week we're going to be learning a little bit about the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were three teenagers who were taken into captivity and sent over to Babylon. And um, the people of Babylon were supposed to bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar. And the three boys didn't want to bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar because they only bowed down to God. And of course, this information got passed back to King Nebuchadnezzar and the three boys ended up being tied up, thrown into a fiery furnace. Now, one would expect a couple of things to happen. One, teenage boys might have gotten a little bit scared when they were confronted and went, no, 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 we're good, King, we'll bow down, whatever you need. Um, or them say, well, you know, like, um, we only bow down to our God, but I mean, as long as you know that you're not our God, then I guess we could bow down to you. These teenagers didn't do that. They flat refused to bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar. Angered the king. He didn't want that to be the behavior of the people. And so their sentence was to be thrown into this fiery furnace. Now, I'm not sure how the how the furnace was constructed, but there was a way for them to watch what was going on inside this very hot space. And the folks watching kind of looked and, and said to each other, didn't we throw three guys in there and we can now see four? Well, in fact, God sent an angel um, or, or appeared with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, protected them. And when it became apparent that the boys were not going to be consumed by the fire. They were they were pulled out. They were they were brought out of the fire, relatively unharmed. And I mean that's a miracle. I mean King Nebuchadnezzar had no choice but to admit that the the God that these three boys worshipped was indeed a very powerful God. And it brings to mind some of the things that we find ourselves in some difficult situations where we might have to stand up for what we believe in or not depending on the strength of our conviction. I mean, we're, we're human, we're fragile, we're frail. Sometimes we may fumble and we may falter and, and we may not stand up. We may not speak up uh, on behalf of what we believe. So we can turn to the example of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and be reminded that these young men, so you're never too young to stand up for your beliefs. These young men stood up for their beliefs and were saved. They, they literally escaped death in the fiery furnace. So whatever difficult circumstances you find yourself in today, just remember that God will protect you and will bring you through it. And like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you will have a testimony. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us the example of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to stand up for what we believe in, even when threatened, knowing that you will save. In Jesus' name, amen.